Oh my goodness. You hit that really good. Today we're at Les Bolstad Golf Course for the Swap Clubs Challenge. I'll be playing nine holes with Jackie's clubs, and Jackie will play nine holes with my clubs. Uh, the fit will not be great, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, and leave a comment below. Oh no. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a master club fitter at Second Swing on the first tee at Les Bullside Golf Course. And this will be fun, Jackie, because uh, this is gonna show the importance of club fitting, I think. Uh, my clubs are very different from your clubs. Um, so let's just give the viewers a brief description of what kind of we're playing in our bag. We'll start with you. What do you have in your bag? Well, what am I gonna be playing today? Yeah, I have the T200 irons with the Tensai red uh, regular shaft, so they're graphite. Uh, standard length, standard lie angle, and then uh, for my other clubs, my driver, my hybrid, and my uh, fairway wood are all the Sim Max okay. with regular graphite shafts in them. So it'll be fun to see uh, how you hit them there. Yeah, that'll be a little different than what I'm used to playing because my clubs, uh, that's my seven iron. So I have Ping I210 and I500 combo, Project X LZ 6.5 shafts, extra length to them. Uh, I also have mid-size grips and they're upright two degrees. So that's gonna be a very different setup than what you're used to. Plus I have extra stiff shafts in my driver, fairy wood um, as well. And so, I mean, they're a little bit longer than usual as well. So it'll be very different, Jackie. Uh, and of course, you know, this is going to show the, the difference. I have no idea where my shot's gonna go. Uh, so I, I, this will be a very interesting test. We'll play nine holes with each other's clubs. I'm not really sure if this is gonna showcase who's better or not <laughs> because our setups will not be very good, but um, I'm curious to see how this, how this plays out, so uh, I'm ready to tee off, are you? Yeah, let's go. Regular shaft, five wood, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is interesting, I don't like it. That's what I'd expect, high and right. Oh. Over that tree? That's yeah, not straight. No idea how far this is, so. Oh, perfect. Went right around the corner. That was pretty good. Well, uh, I'm at a disadvantage already. I did not expect it to go right, though. You went right? Yeah. Why, oh, you thought it would go left? Well, stiffer shaft. Oh, Jackie, you've got a 54 degree. Yep, I Slick. Know. This is regular length, right? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. 116 yards? This might be perfect. Don't scuff it up. Wow. What do you think Brand I'm going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? Shank it, probably. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit right. I'll clean the club for you, look Jackie. At that, look at that divot. Looks like you took the whole earth with you. <laughs> it's called a steep attack angle. <laughs> right. Oh, that's silky. Has to sit down though, I think. Oh, I did sit down. Uh oh. No blood yet. <clears throat> no. Nope. A couple a pars. Start. 169? I don't know what to hit. Nine or eight? Mm. I don't know. I just don't know, like, because I know I'm sure your lofts are stronger than mine. And I'll swing faster with a regular shaft. Lofts aren't too different, actually. They're not? I'm thinking full eight initially, but it is into the wind. Okay. Let's try the green. It looks pretty good. You're up, you're putting. So the nice thing for me is that Jackie's got the same wedges that I do in terms of loft, 54, 58. So I'm used to hitting 58 degrees from this spot or this type of shot. But this shot's not easy. Green running away from me. That's a long ways past the hole. Sit. Never mind. Nice. Not bad. Lynn and soft for me. Oh. 
Mm. Ice? Ice in my veins. I drain the three footers when I need to. I don't, I, I, I'm not comfortable at all swinging this driver, but I'm going to. Well, it's gonna go right, so just plan for that. Yeah. Not that I wanna coach you or anything. Now, what are you doing? We've got Jackie's Sim Max driver, 10 degrees, which is more loft than I play, and the regular shaft is very different than what I play, so. I'm gonna swing like I normally swing, and I, we'll see. Take it over the trees, though. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I saw it. I see it down. Mm. <laughs> I don't like this. Can we do a different challenge or something? Oh my goodness. You hit that really good. I'm blaming all of mine on the clubs. Ooh. Oh. All right, well, Jack, you were four holes in. Uh, I know you've struggled with the putter a little bit. Well, mm -hmm. with my putter. Yep. Um, I've been struggling with the right miss all day, and I think we've been talking a little bit about it, about why that's happening. It has to do with, well, with the irons, at least. My lie angle is, well, the lie angle with your irons is standard. Mine is two degrees upright, yep. which corrects a right miss. So hence missing right with your irons. And then also the shaft flex being irregular versus my extra stiff is going to, um, you know, the club head's gonna be delayed coming through because I have a quick tempo. So the club head's gonna be behind, it's gonna be open up a little bit. So a couple of reasons why I'm missing right and I'm kind of being forced to correct that as I go here. But um, that's just kind of my take on your clubs so yep. far playing them. What do you think about the stuff I'm playing? Other than the putter, I know how you feel about that already. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, it Obviously, this is like way heavier. Heavier. This is 125 grams. Mine are 60, so yeah. literally twice the weight. Um, so that's a little bit different. But overall, for me right now, it's just short game. Uh, yeah. That is the main issue. But yeah, the longer clubs too. You know, the six, five, four. I mean, those are going to be tougher for me to hit just because of the length. One. Yeah. I mean, they're. They're way longer than I'm used to and way stiffer. So the, you know, the seven, eight, nine pitching wedge are fine. Like I, I don't know. It's just a lot, it's different. It's a different yeah, it's feel for different. you for sure. Yeah. But we've got five holes left, a lot of golf left. So let's see what happens. All right, let's go. 158, I'm hitting a little eight iron here. I'm gonna kind of aim at the flag and hopefully this little cut that I have to hit happens and it just goes to the middle of the green. a lot, sit down. Okay. That was super weird. What the heck? Sounded like I broke the shaft or something. I would hope you didn't do that. That's pretty darn good uh, from there. This guy is gonna sling to the left. Oh, I gotta hit it. A couple of ticklers for par. The putter. Honestly, yeah, you're hitting the ball better it. than I am. Short par four, little dog leg right. It's like 300-ish yards. By temptation sake, I have to hit driver to try and get there, so that's what I'm gonna do. Well, I like that you're hitting driver personally. Aim down the center, hopefully it cuts like it's supposed to. Just not too much. gonna be kind of my mind, I think. Not very good. Sit. Yeah. A little pitch shot. I don't like this pin. This is an evil pin that they gave us. It's like right on the top of that ridge. So if I, like, a two feet short, it's gonna fall back to me. It'll fall back down the hill. And that's too short. Oh, it did just get up there. Nice. I'm going to chip this in anyway because I don't want to putt. Oh, that's the right line, too. <laughs> I 
hammer that. <laughs> I can tell you that was not the club. Well, or just chunk it and end up where That's I gonna be, be great, actually. Uh, that's going so far left. I hit it like I wanted to. I just didn't think I would actually execute it like that. Be good. I might make up some shots here. Yeah, you I'm gonna make sure I club throw this one. Po hold the pose too. Oh my Atlanta. Go. 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 Are you yes. kidding me? Holy. That was good. <laughs> I might need you to go mark that ball. Wouldn't you want me to stop it? Well, if it's, I want it, I have want a chance to go I'm going to use your putter again. I'm, I'm going back to it since, you know, why not? Well, you have a three footer for birdie. She's got Shit. four feet for birdie on this long par three. I am. 40 yards right. Up and down is a must here. And this lie is terrible. Yeah, you crushed that way over. Just bare dirt. Sit down. Have a look. Have a look. Still advantage her though. Nice little testy slider here for you. Yeah, to save my par while you've got a nice little uphill putt for birdie. Nice. Good par. She got it. We're tied. Well, I had a two shot lead like not long ago. And I made a mistake on seven. And then Jackie hit to four feet or whatever on eight. Now we're tied on the last hole. So that's great. Um, I'm gonna go with driver here for some reason because it's par five and I really want to hit it far. That's basically it, even though I know it's gonna hit a slice. Yeah, I'm aiming down the left side and then hopefully the cut keeps it in the fairway maybe. Beauty. Nice. Oh, I'm over the bunker. Oh, that's it really well. Oh, it's leaping towards the bunker though. Go. Sit. Oh. Might have got in there. You're hitting the three wood, huh? Yeah. Why not? Or that. Roll. Or shank. Well, Jackie gave me the advantage. You might have hit my And then car. I gave it right back. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. It's going to be a photo finish. That did not break like I thought it would. So Jackie's putting with wedge. The biggest putt of the match. He's gonna putt with wedge. Oh. Ah. Well, we that was a rough ending. That's so dumb. Well, Jackie, not, uh, you know, it's a tie isn't the best ending. We would like a winner, but We'll keep this going. We'll do another challenge, and uh, we'll see how things go moving forward with different, different types of challenges. But 38 for both of us, three over. Um, it could have been a lot worse. And one thing you mentioned actually coming up here was that I have the advantage a little bit because I'm able to kind of adjust more to a lighter golf shaft or lighter golf clubs because I can just swing lighter if I need to yep. to control it better. You don't really have that uh, opportunity with playing extra shift, stiff shafts compared to a regular. So. That put, kind of puts you at a disadvantage. I didn't really even consider until right now. Yeah, I think the hardest part of that challenge is like the longer clubs. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, six iron, five iron, hybrid, fairway wood. Um, you know, once you get into those longer shafts, it, especially because they're extra stiff, really tough for me to like yeah. control because of my swing speed. So that part was definitely uh, the hardest for me. Uh, driver and stuff like that. I mean, it wasn't too bad, um, but yeah, I did. I did not like your putter at all. <laughs> Clearly, so that that was one thing. I just started to give up on it a little bit. Yeah. And you know, if I had longer putts, I was just using my 
or right. your, your wedge, so. Yeah, and I think I could definitely notice the difference with the iron. So, I mean, we talked about it already, but the regular shaft flex for me, obviously not a fit. It's gonna force it to the right anyway, but then lie angle two difference. So yep. I think every iron shot I had was comfortably right of the target. And then I had to end up playing that. And it was nice for a little bit there, because at the beginning of the round, I had kept having a lot of like full swing 54 degree wedges, which was perfect for me. Um, Cause it was, those are, you know, regularly built compared to my wedges, but then the rest of the bag was very different. So I think the stress is the importance of club fitting a little bit. That's kind of what we're trying to show a little bit where if we're, if you play the wrong clubs for your game, there's going to be big misses out there as we saw for both of us, I think, where we both had trouble controlling the driver. We had, it felt different in our hands and the misses were exaggerated a little bit compared to what our misses would be with our normal clubs. Right. Yeah, no, I think today it was great in terms of expressing the importance of shaft flex for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like the I-210s personally. I like that, I mean, it was good that the extra sip shaft had a high launching club head. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was a little bit better. It could have definitely been way worse. Yeah. Uh, so overall, it was, it was definitely a fun challenge and looking mm -hmm. forward to more. Yeah, we'll do another one soon here to break the tie, yeah. but I'm sure you're ready also to start hitting your own clubs again, as am I. But uh, viewers, thanks for watching again. Um, if you liked the video, give us the video a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. And maybe you guys can give us ideas on a challenge that me and Jackie could do to break the tie here. So leave a comment for us, and we'll get on that. But Jackie, thanks for joining today. Uh, braving out the heat. It's been really hot and humid today. Uh, we got nine holes in, but uh, until next time, right? All right, until next time.